Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Galador review, and this one is on uh, Jens or Jens and Gorm, regular version from 2002, of course. So I'll start out with uh, Jens, of course. Well, it's kind of spelled as Jens, but also, of course, that, that's how it's often said about throughout the show, of course. But yeah, so as you can see, that for Jens throughout. For all these figures, probably the most, one of the most detailed, of course, and also one of the ones with the most limbs to add on to it, unless if you count the uni or oni to there. So, like as for the legs, it would, but as for the feet, which do, which do have some. Uh, special bits to it, and of course they which are on ball jointed, and of course, and also can fit on, and just like all the figures fit on a Lego stud surface, but not clutched on, of course, and can stick on both ways, and also these. Uh, lower leg bits with the feet on it's all one piece to it but although these particular ones which also found on the uh, TDN module but uh, but just a little bit differently on there of course and as for the upper leg pieces or thigh pieces here also found on the uni set I think Yeah, also on the Uni set, of course. They can, of course, have the front part that is in light gray and on the back part dark gray. Kind of interesting. And also included on the Uni set are these shortish little arm bits here. Which of course can clip on to accessories on like Euripidus's staff and all and also like all the figures of this way that the ratcheted joint part of it a regular Technic pin axle which you can attach on any Technic beams of course so at least they're kind of useful for mocking and also he which has six attachment bits on the side of his torso bit so you can add some various limbs to it, but as for these lower limbs of which, not sure why he has them, but if any of you know why, comment below. But as for the torso bit itself, quite detailed, of course. Although what would have been nice is that how a couple of times in the show he kind of has this front part which like taken off and you can like end access and get plugged into some bits to it but would be nice if they included that but maybe that'd be a little too much and as for the arm bits of which like the upper part of which which also included in the uni set again and the lower parts of which of course it does have interesting detailing for the hands of which kind of like metal mittens or something and of course hold it so Eurybitus' his staff and all, and a swivel joint for the wrists like the other figures. <sighs> Sorry about the yawning. And back part of which, so also good detailing to it, and not sure what that round bit is for, but whatever. And as for the head of which, which also comes with the Keck Powerizer, and also nicely detailed, and of course. It also has the two dial features which do different features like this one of which extends the eye bit in and out to words of course and this other one of which makes the hair like things go up and down which he does throughout the show so of course great that they included that obviously But 
also of course included with him is this little blowtorch type of accessory thing so it's also nicely detailed but and of course this large bit here which you can but of course you can definitely use it for some like construction box like to represent blow torches and stuff and of course to attach it take that part off and attach it onto like so and he of course does that although you can also use it on nick bluetooth if you want as well of course and of course yenzu which and of course another important character of the main bunch of characters which some say kind of a bit close resembling to that c3po which also to me which kind of also well but a little different and of course with the odd accent to his but yeah and i guess that is it with with yen's of course and now on to the main antagonist of all of galador uh gorm of course which as also looks quite well done here and he along with nick bluetooth of course have the deluxe versions which I'll look at it at a different time of course and as for the likes here with, as you can see okay. oh it's nicely detailed or kind of interesting detailed for the feet of which and of course like the rest of the figures it sticks onto studs but not attached to it and also all on ball joints but completely uh, attached to the leg piece but yeah oh whoops and as for the uh, lower leg piece of which nice and smooth and of course a couple of grooves in the back of it of course and as for the upper legs of which also nice and smooth with a gap on it of course as well. Uh, not sure why that is, but whatever. But as for the torso bit of which comprised of mainly two pieces, like the main far bit of it and also this uh, front loin cloth kind of bit of which with some nice purple detailing or purple printing to it. Of course which he is throughout most throughout the figure of course and just like some of the other figures has a connecting bit to it but it goes right through him of course and if you look onto the back part of him as you can see he has three connection bits to it probably see but of course you can accessorize him with the various pieces, of course. If I take the arm off, then as you see, it has interesting grooving in this shoulder area, which, which, and of course, same with the deluxe version, of course. And the chest area, which, nice printing to it, and also good sculpt for the venting thing in the trunk area. And as for the arms of which, quite interesting uh, pieces used for them. And, and of course, do have plenty of the same movements and swivel wrists, also like all the other figures of the way of the line, of course. And as for the head piece here. Headpiece, which does well capture the uh, in show costume, of course. Like, of course. Although, also get this headpiece also included with the Kek Powerizer, which, and also do get with the Uni set in dark red, of course. And also does have some alright, some good printing and paint detailing to it, like. This one eye blue and red, and one of which in green, of course, kind of cool. And as for the mouth bit of which, which, which looks kind of like insect pinchers to it, but 
Also, if you look at throughout the show, when he whenever he speaks, there is a blue light that comes on when doing so. But although I think there should have been a little spot of blue in the mouth representing that. But again, but now back onto the arms so with you can with that, and also he includes is this other lower arm bit which has an open hand to which with some kind of pointy finger nails on it, of course, and also has a swivel wrist feature and can pop on like so. And of course, it's very cool, kind of cool to like have on and also unique to display them with of course and as for articulation it does come with plenty of good of it like plenty of good movement for the legs and for the arms of course like which all these figures have and of course all ratcheted jointed probably for better stabilization but ball joints would have been fair enough but whatever on these two. I think they of which are quite good sets for what they are like like Yenzewich which was one with the with probably only one with whose headpiece of which does have two features to it unlike Nepal which does have the like flip up visor kind of feature but his of which a little bit more interesting with two features of course like the hair raising and the eye extending, of course. The Gorma Witch, uh, also quite nice, but although what, what I think he also could have included is maybe a large or uh, egg or piece, since he, of course, captures that in the first episode of the show, or maybe one of the uh, keystone like things that Nick and them that Nick and I'll try and get throughout the show, of course. First, but although maybe that would have been a little too much, but yeah. And although for the like ex uh, customizing hand piece of which, quite nice to include so you can have some extra variety of pieces to display them with if you want to, but yeah. And, and also quite like how the use of purple here since purple of which we barely get much with Lego which although nowadays you mostly expect from like friends and all but and of course it's still good to have it in general Lego of course but yeah and of course reminiscent to that of uh, the Tahonga slash Batorn of, of Bonacle called uh, Onipu and uh, uh, one of the new Java, and that's it. And also work with his second, rare second hand Tegger, of course. But yeah. And so now, if any of y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say go ahead and get them. Like on eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.